Uh, and the first one relates to the HD Zero goggles. And I don't know, Blunty, would you call it a defect or just like a, a an oversight, an improvement? What would you call it? Um, yeah, I, it's tough with our early hardware like this because, you know, it's, it's hard to know exactly, you know, what went wrong for sure. But basically, uh, yeah, there, there's an issue with the HD Zero goggles with the SMA uh, connector. And um, basically, we've got a, a fix for you and a response from HD Zero about it. Mm -hmm. So I guess we'll start probably with Tweet FPV's video. I don't know exactly where, like, in here is a timestamp that shows the issue. It's a 13 minute video. Or we're not going to sit through it. Can we sum up the issue, Blunty? Um, is it possible? Yeah. I mean, the SMA connector basically needs an extra nut is sort of the, the solution that Carl has talked about. Um, yeah. And it doesn't, these... he, you know, it's basically not for, every, not, basically not everybody will need this. There's a gap between the RF board and the plastic shell. Mm -hmm. um, you can install a spacer or a nut in there and then there won't be any issues. Yeah. Um, but like otherwise, right, uh, yeah. Right here we see the SMA connectors and they're just soldered to the board and it's this big, long SMA connector. And that just sticks up through the top of the goggle shell and you screw your antenna on. But there's nothing sort of backing that. So if there's an impact or something on the antenna, which <laughs> that happens, it has right. the potential to break that off. This, I think, is the concern. Does that seem yeah. right? Yep. Um, so Tweet FPV shows some shows a solution here for it. Um, if you wanted to fix it at home, um, Carl also mentions you know how to talk talking about using an SMA spacer nut there. Um, mm -hmm. Or if you wanted to, you can ship them back to S, uh, Divamath and they will install it for you for free. Uh, they do want you to pay shipping though. Okay. Uh, so they've they've put out there a three D print. Uh, that you can print yourself, and we can see here the backing, and it just basically gives the 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 SMA nut something to press against other than the goggle shell, which is kind of flexible, right? What the hell, what is this nonsense? And that's an easy 3D print. You could whack that out in no time. Uh, HC Zero will be adding these to the goggles going forward, future manufacturing runs, uh, and uh, as you said, Blunty. If you really don't feel comfortable doing it yourself, uh, they'll do it for you. You just have to pay shipping back to... Actually, they. I was going to say back to China, but no. Because HC Zero yeah. has uh, serv yeah. service centers now, don't they? Yeah, we mentioned before they have service centers in uh, most of the major areas. So, yeah, hopefully yeah. it won't be too bad to ship those. Yeah, USA. Like, I remember Fat Shark. It was USA, Europe, Asia, and Australia. Those are like, you got basically the whole world covered one way or the other. I don't know exactly where yeah. HD Zeros are, but I imagine it's something like that. So uh, kudos to HD Zero uh, for the fast response, uh, relatively fast. I yeah. imagine they were, uh, they were, a lot of them were on vacation for Chinese New Year, but as soon as yeah. they came back, jumped right on it. And, uh, you know, nobody's perfect. I, I used to have a boss who said, everybody makes mistakes. That's why pencils have erasers. I believe and, that. Uh, Term is Pobody's Nerfect. Pobody's Nerfect. <laughs> yeah. That's right, Fenty. Thank <laughs> All right. Uh, so if you have HD Zero goggles, uh, you know, uh, just don't whack your antennas and you'll be fine. But if you want to cover yeah. your butt, open those M up, up and uh, and get this fixed.